Hello and welcome to our last episode of our X-Men 97 actual play with Chris Spivey, me, Ariel Celeste, Jennifer Kretschmer, and Matthew Dawkins. Um, just like the last couple of episodes, uh, this was recorded live on our Darker Hue Discord. Um, so you're going to hear us talking over each other and whatnot. Um, but I did try to edit down a little bit so that you can get a sense of what's going on and to get rid of a couple of technical problems we had. Um, so uh, with that, um, if you want to get caught up, definitely listen to the last two episodes, but otherwise we'll get right into the last episode of X-Men 97. Uh, you know what? Let's see what happens. I'm going to uh, take the drawing that Jubilee gave and I'm going to go to each of the three leaders are captured and shove it in front of them and say, do you know this woman? Two of them. You know what? I need a round of deduction rolls as you, as Cyclops goes to each of them. Do you know this woman? Do you know this woman? Do you know this woman? As all three uh, of them say no. Uh, what rolls? Deduction rolls, please. Deduction. deduction. What deduction? is, why can't I, I have a good Oni? deduction. Oni? Too. This Oni? Is... That's for Matthew. I don't... Um, I don't have any um, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll use a jack on this again. Because um, these rules are absurd. They, no, that's still not good enough. Well, yeah, I'm going to use a jack, too. And if you use a jack, it's an automatic success. Oh, okay. Level. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, 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 I'm using use a jack for basic success, yeah. You go to them, Rogue. Oh, my God. I, 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 hold on. Rogue did first. Whoa, it's nice. too late, Ariel. Oh, look at that awesome success. Um. So, anyway. Ariel, I Sorry, I don't know how to roll. I'm kind of slow. <laughs> no worries. Uh, and that's a d20, so that doesn't count. I thought it... Oh, it wasn't this, that a 20? This would be a d100. It would be a d100 because it's a skill roll. But uh, Rogue used a jack, so you get this information. Okay. You, you go to two of them and they say I'm no. Confused. All three of them say no, we don't know, but then you stop one of them and you can tell that that one is lying just from like the sweat on their... A little bit of sweat on their brow and how their muscles flinch every time. Okay, sugar. I know you've got something more for me. Why don't you just let us know? We could do this the easy way or the hard way. There you go. You um, I only know how to do it here. the hard way. Well, Cy fine. <laughs> Cy Cyclops is going to lean in. It's like, if you don't, she'll use her mind powers on you. Her mutant <laughs> brain scan. I don't care that you're mutants. You're useless. I let my eyes glow a little I bit. I pick up the nearest incredibly heavy object and I just start tossing it like a baseball in my hand. <laughs> I truck the leap off fears nothing, mutants. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's French. We're doomed. Ah when voila! I speak some French. French so in, when you speak French, Adam, just because you know the best language still doesn't mean I will tell you anything, dogs. Useless. But truck seems not to break after seeing. You flash your eyes, rogue crushing things that would scare most people. I'll punch him in the gut. Jeez. I, I would also now like to bring people to the morality thing that we keep discussing that hasn't been a major problem. <laughs> right, today. right, right. Is that if you look, there is a brutality and a compassion. Many of you are high on compassion. Now, yeah. Logan, I want to point no. that out to the other three of you. Is Logan goes, you know what, guy in a chair? Wow! Right, yeah, it's like that's enough, Logan. I was about to, I was about to be anyway. So, what's the matter? Did I take the wind out of you? Don't worry, Storm couldn't put it back in. I'm not the same way it came. I out. said, stand down, Mister. If I wasn't in this chair, Canadian scum, I would show you something. Hey, oh, I love Montreal. Oh, hey, oh, Quebec, ha oh, 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 Putin. I punch him again. <laughs> I'm gonna stop Logan from punching Truck Leaper. Okay. You best be glad I'm in this chair, friend, or I would break your face with my feet. I'm going to try one of the other leaders who are not so French. <laughs> the other two didn't know the, didn't know the person. Okay, so, so Patrock has oh. focus on Patrock. I guess you're really proud of that mustache of yours, I am. I'm going to... Storm, could you watch Logan for a second? I need to speak to Rogue. <laughs> I will pull Rogue aside. I'm not going to ask you to do this, mm. but it would be helpful if we could find out what he's thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to give Logan a minute first 
that's that's sort of a last resort situation most of the time. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, and, and and Scott, is the, I, I'm I'm min maxing morality. This is amazing. Scott is going to focus on making sure Rogue is okay to make sure she isn't go- she's comfortable with any decisions she makes, which means conveniently I'm not watching Logan doing what he's doing. Right. Yeah, I, I would be with you on that. I don't really <laughs> have desire to watch that happen. Right. I'm because Storm's yeah. watching him, and I trust Storm to keep him in check. <laughs> I know that Storm I... knows that I just have to do what has to be done. <laughs> and then I will ask everyone else here to make me a compassion roll. And that's a d20? Uh, that is a d20. That, yeah, that, that, I'm not actually going to make, you know, cut him bloody or anything like that. Um, you, you're I'm trying to intimidate him. You're literally beating a guy in a chair, chair on oh, a Saturday morning. Yeah, no, that, we, yes. we've, we've gone past that. You don't have to cut him. <laughs> but he here. is French. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you feel compelled that maybe you should do something. Okay, in that case, it's just as I pop a claw. What I'm actually about to do is shave his mustache off, give him a very close shave, because I know that this Frenchman cares a great deal about the sanctity of his facial hair, but they see me pop a claw, and I imagine that's when their compassion kicks Yeah, in. no, 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 no. <laughs> My hand hey. goes out and stop, stops yours. Ah! Please, let me show you the power of my feet. And he sort of leans over to one side. But I have feet. I'm going to tie his feet together. Jesus Christ, I'm getting sick of that. I'm going to step on his toes. I'm going to not, not to hurt him, but to just keep him from moving, to keep him from kicking. Oh, it's okay when you do it. I'm not, uh, I'm not hurting him. I'm just holding him in place. Why don't, why don't you tell us, Jacques? Does it hurt? I don't know if I let my kid watch your cartoon now. Um, so what are you (laughs) next been doing? You've got the truck beaten, tied to a chair, legs tied. You punched him. You've stepped on his feet. Still not breaking. You gotta get into his head, Rogue. I slowly start taking off my glove. Ooh, okay. Nothing, mutants. Nothing. I'm giving you one last chance, Sugar. You can tell us what we Do know. We're gonna you find will. out. Do whatever All you right will, then. Mutant. And I reach out and I touch him. Because he is struggling against it. So it's a D hundred. Uh, yes, I think you're. I think you've got a high skill, but it's still uncontrollable. I do. I have an. And you know, 80. the longer that you're in contact with him, the deadlier it is for him. Yes. Yep. And he so spends it's twenty-seven a point, under but you need, eighty. You spend a willpower point, so I need you to re-roll and take the worst of your two rolls. He is a villain with abilities too. Sixty-two under eighty. It works. Uh, 62 is the worst. You gain one jet. Yeah, I think one jack. One shock. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> like I got much myself with that joke. Um, <clears throat> Zip you, off. you drain his knowledge and his, some of his skills. And you do know, in fact, you feel as if you could be a great leaper. The more pertinent part of what you get is your mind is flooded with images of their employer who you can describe in detail is an Italian count who goes by the name of Neferia, who has ties with the Magia. And once you say Neferia, Scott recalls that early in the X-Men career, when there were the original X-Men, they battled Count Neferia in D.C., and defeated Nefer and his anti-men from controlling DC. And he swore then that one day he would return with powers to get revenge on the X-Men. Revenge! And today is that day. And today. Remind me, Count Nefer, he's actually a count, correct? Literally a count in Italy. And right. So he so you know, did like immunity. And once you say Neferia, B, since he's there, goes, Count Neferia battled the Avengers and hated Wonder Man. So he might have won. So he's probably just getting all of his vengeance in one go. Uh, so the fair is working with this woman with the gold mask to get the gem. This is now all tracking. So use did, the I, gold mask to get... did I get who the woman with the gold mask is? Thank you, uh, Jin. With 
your one success, because you only got one success, you do know enough to know that that is Madame Mask, who goes by the name of Courtney... On, Court, uh, Whitney Frost, who Thank you know you. is an alias, <laughs> because she is in fact the daughter of Count Nefaria! It's a family affair. Yeah, I'd change my name if my surname was Nefaria. Well then, I think we know where, where to go next. Italy? I figure they're probably a little closer than that, but yes. Little Italy. Little Italy. <laughs> little, little, little. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a slice of pizza, you know, sit down. Anyone feel like pasta for dinner? Mm. <laughs> and for those you of you listening, <laughs> since you can't see the images I've dropped in the chat, as I remember that we are recording this now, Count Nefaria is a, a tall, now muscular man, probably in his late 50s, who looks like a riff on Superman, muscle-wise, with a long, flowing cape, and has incredible superpowers. He's and got some Doctor Strange happening, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange's cousin. <laughs> Doctor Stranger. Uh, can <laughs> oh. we figure out where Nefaria is? What was last seen? He's, he's relatively well-known. If you, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that research right now at probably about ten o'clock at night in DC in nineteen late nineteen ninety six ninety seven? The internet, Chris, oh, the obviously. Embassy. Yeah, the Italian embassy. I'm sure they would Which be more than help. You is going to call the Italian embassy X Men. Oh, we can visit. We're in DC. Just a simple cab yes. ride. Yes, you can. Oh, look at that. Good, good pull. Good pull. I got some cover. decent diplomacy here too. Yeah, my Ish. diplomacy is seventy-five. Oh, not oh, as good as not as good as storms. Storm. Storm, 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 Aurora's storm, storm, storm. going out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can any of us? How are you going to go to the embassy? Like I, when I ask how you're going to go, are you going to take a taxi to the embassy dressed as civilians? Are you going to take a taxi dressed as X Men? Are you going to fly over and like kick down the door? Explain to me how they're this is going. Most- I'm not the most diplomatic, but I think kicking down the door to the embassy is a damn good idea. We need answers. I love you, Logan. <laughs> we'll say that as a backup plan. Yeah, we'll call that plan, you know, W. You. Um, <laughs> wow, I'm tired. I'm tired. Storm did. <laughs> oh, what are uh, the Italians gonna do? Invade? No, I storm. Storm's gonna put on some. You know, nice clothes and look like a grown up and walk up, you know, to the door and knock. Is anyone going with Storm when she goes over to the Italian embassy or is she going by herself? No, uh, we'll go with her. We're a team. We're the X Men. Mm-hmm. We will go. I think we'll all go in uh, civilian clothes, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and didn't Val say something about the UN? She did. Val works for the UN. She's part of their council who's trying to make. So, I mean, why don't we go to the. X-Men. Wouldn't. Maybe the the UN be a stronger choice than the Italian embassy. That is true. They might protect their own if they if they see Nefario, despite his name, as a hero. Yeah, it feels like we'll be able to maybe get the same access there diplomatically, but also have the protection of they they asked us to come do this. Yeah, true, true. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Uh, let's go. Yeah, uh... The Italian embassy's instinct is going to be to protect their citizens. Yeah, so let's right. kick down the door to the UN. <laughs> we're not du- we're not W yet. Again, again, plan Y. Yes. <laughs> As <laughs> we're in an actual play, and I cannot give you an experience point, I'm going to give you back a willpower point for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would have had more fun the other way, but that is a brilliant move on your part. The group of you go Thank to you. your UN contact. <laughs> And they are, in fact, more open arms to listen to your story for whatever it is you want to tell them. Mm. What story um, and- or how would you like to tell them? You, In the end, you get a UN council member who is there on site in D.C. at the UN building. Uh, Val is, of course, not here because she's doing other business. But you're being listened to and treated like the heroes you are. You're brought coffee or whatever drink you want because it's like 11 at night as you're here with this UN person. Yeah. There are, of course, guards all around. I'm going to encourage storm to just tell the truth tell, tell them everything we know that maybe is, leaving out it, the it, logan torturing people part is there is there any of this that we so you don't think like there's any of this that we need to keep guarded 
need to keep out? I can't think of anything. I okay, mean, we haven't the... been given any reason not to trust <coughs> the UN, right? Val's never given us a reason not to share information. Yeah, Professor, Professor X would want us to cooperate with the authorities. I'm a, I am a little concerned about just passing in this this information about a, a warehouse full of brief, briefcases full of magical stones. Yeah, well, I don't mind not. Well, well, we could say that you know. Agent or, or Dr. Cooper hired us to retrieve some items. We we th that trail has led here. We don't have to get the specifics of where what the items were or where they're located. So that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Right. That's here to get back. Great. Um. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, we can send uh, the rest of the team to maybe secure that. Though though they already had police and things there on site. Right now, the rest of the team is watching Betrock the Liper and the other right. two um, yeah. Kennedy yeah. people. Um, did yeah, I, I gain abilities from him? Yes. You, you, you did, but abilities. they are so unimportant, I specifically did not tell you where they were. Okay. <laughs> cool beans. Everything, every, if, every I, if I need to high jump. Everything you do is better than It's cooler. Do. Everything. Yeah. Right now, if you jump, you jump exponentially higher than he does. The Excellent. only thing that has become more powerful is your accent somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, I sound more like Gambit. <laughs> yes. I sound like I've just been hanging out with Remy a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which, now, now, which might now, be true. <laughs> right. Now that the rest of the party is pursuing the diplomatic option, I, I'll be quite cordial with uh, the Leaper. Oh, where in France are you from? <laughs> Nice country. Uh, okay. You had a crack, a crack monsieur. Okay. Okay, I'm way too easily distracted. Um. Okay. So <laughs> then, then, uh, uh, leaving out the gory details and and limiting knowledge about the scope of what we found in the warehouse. Um. I essentially just tell the truth, tell the story. This is how we have gotten where we are, and we're at a dead end, and we need help. Make me a diplomacy roll. Make you a diplomacy roll. So that's a D100? Yes, correct. I think your skill is 75, so anything under 75 is a success. The more jacks you get, the better for the 62. You still have a bunch of jacks, though, right? You're sitting on... So what uh, I forgot to mention... Seven? Nine? Nine. Nine. What I forgot to mention... And this is something yes. that I need to add to your crash sheet. Is that for each jack that you spend on a roll, you can increase that roll by 10%. So basically, you could spend more jacks, increase your percentage chance of a roll, essentially earn more jacks. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I think. Like, maybe? for instance, if you dropped all seven jacks before you rolled, instead of a uh -huh. 75, you'd have a 145% chance, and you could roll, earn even more jacks. Oh. But, okay. You could also then roll like a hundred and then still fail and waste all those jacks. Or I you could have rolled saying. something lower and only earned back three of the jacks that you spent instead of all seven. So it has that okay. up and down chance. It's a bit. Of I a should have mentioned that earlier, but we're getting into it, so you're like learning some of this as we go along. So for that, I apologize. No, I, I mean, definitely feel like it's all learning as we go along, which is great. Um, uh, uh, since this is a so comment for me from the chat, I've got to read it. If someone said, "Let's hear it for the award-winning." Uh, system of the abhor system. So I would say thank you, chat. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. excellent. Pat myself on the back. Please proceed, Arrow. I'm, I'm done. No more Chris talking about how great Chris is. Other than right now, me still saying Chris is great. Please go ahead. I'll say Chris is great. I can say it for you. Yeah, Chris is great. <laughs> He's oh, okay. Um, does, does that 62 <laughs> not get me what I need? It does, but I wanted to explain the Jacks thing in okay, case okay. you wanted Chris. to try again now that I've given you additional context. Uh, but no, I, I won't here. I'll here. take earned a jack. Okay. Okay, great. So, and oh, and that got me another jack. So let me write that down. No, I'm, I'm going to take that one jack, though, Ariel, for this. Oh, you're taking, oh, you're taking it now. Yes. Great. Okay. You're going to want me to. Um, great. Yes, I do. Listen intently. And for, there's a few moments of pushback saying, well, of course he has diplomatic immunity so there isn't really anything that we could do against them but what we if you really want we could 
send over a UN agent now to try to engage with him and figure out where he is specifically. We might be able to have an address or something for you tomorrow. Otherwise, it could take days to weeks worth of paperwork. And Arrow, that was what I take your one jack for to give you that option. Right. So they could they could send an envoy over now and find out something tonight, or you can try to go through proper channels that could take up to a week. Oh no! Now, tonight, for sure. All right, we'll send someone over now. Uh, if you want, you're welcome to rest here. We should have an answer for you in the morning sometime. Oh right, because it's like eleven o'clock at night. Okay. After you're right, through yeah. your story, it's probably about midnight. <laughs> okay. Um, it is. Uh, is there a a benefit to us going home, as as characters? It's a long flight we... to get back from DC. And we have a car room. Every, every time Cyclops pilots a Blackbird, there's a chance I'm going to attack you with somebody. <laughs> a long <laughs> flight for Rogue. Rogue can. <laughs> Get there and back yeah, again I'm, and... I, I'm back back to New York in in a minute, <laughs> and then I can get us to Italy in in you know. Well, <laughs> Rogue, you could get there, but it would rip the skin off of all their bodies flying that fast. Is they're not true. resistant to all that wind pressure except you are. That's for true. Next fly, only fly at a hundred miles per hour. That's a little better. I fly well, at zero but... miles an hour. So clearly, we're not wanting to return to the mansion. Yeah, let's just. Yeah. We have our hotel room already because that's where we met up at. So we can just stay here, um, yeah. recover okay. some uh, vigor that some of us have lost, like me, and Great. see what happens tomorrow. And we have Great. some uh, uh, hostages in there as well. So we'll have to order room service. <laughs> just dump if you window. want, the UN can take your hostages also. That is a joy of now coming to the UN <laughs> is that you kind of get, from the cartoon perspective, you get like a refresh. Next morning, you'll start back with. Uh, you consider a full night of rest so whatever your recovery is times five back in vigor and spirit right you take your hostages the other I just x-men there's like a little space the in the un it's like deposit your hostages here <laughs> yeah like a hostage <laughs> drop box <laughs> right uh, uh, <laughs> please uh, rewind uh, your hostages <laughs> I'll, I'll drop the i'll drop the you can rewind off. <laughs> um yeah i'll drop the leaf awesome. off maybe, maybe we'll catch up next time in france <laughs> Until next getting time, to know you. Logan. We'll we, can share a, we can oh share an omelet together. Or a it's not that it'll be important, because I don't think we'll do another action play ever, but Wolverine, write Arch Enemy, Troc the Leaper on your character sheet, please. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, I might be his. I'm, I might be his. I, 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 I've developed quite a liking for him. <laughs> I mean, he withstood our interrogation, so I've got some respect for him, at least. He's clearly a right. fierce patriot. But he's going to hunt you down to the ends of the earth or until his miniseries ends, whichever comes first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what villains are like. Can't right. take a, the morning comes. A good hint. And you receive a crisp letter from the, with the UN letterhead saying, uh, Nick Count Nefario is located in the embassy suites, the embassy hotel. Gives you the address, gives you his room number. He's rented the entire top floor of the hotel, and that is where he is. And he doesn't have plans to leave until for like a month from now. And you do know there's another protest today that's supposed to happen, and the president is supposed to be there today to try to calm the crowds. Hmm. So the protest would take priority over, unless we can get to him before the protest. So I'm thinking also, but he still has diplomatic community. We still haven't really found a way around that part yet. Well, hmm, yeah. But do you get to keep your diplomatic immunity if you are actively plotting yes. terrorism? Yes. Yeah, sadly. Only yeah. the Italian government can remove his diplomatic immu uh, immunity. Right. And it's a diplomatic whole thing. Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> but then we, we, if everyone at the UN knows that the Italians, or at least this Nefario, is planning this, then... It's a bad. It'll look bad for the Italians, right? Unless I'm also, missing something. If if we if we get the item back, and give it to Doctor Cooper, then it doesn't matter whether it's diplomatic community or not, because the Italian government will have to admit that they stole it in the first place if they want to try to get it back. Those damn Italians! I'm pretty sure it's just Nefaria. Well, if we're saying they're going to protect him, thick as thieves. Well, let's. Does his daughter have diplomatic immunity? Mmm. Ah, that's actually a really good idea. Maybe he'll... They 
yield if we have his daughter. To the best of their knowledge, they would have included that because they were giving you useful information. Whitney Frost does not have diplomatic immunity. Ah, I think I think you're you're thinking like an X man. <laughs> we take his oh, daughter no. hostage. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Also, should we shouldn't we take a warn the Secret Service warn the president approach as well? Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. might be a phone call to make. I didn't <laughs> vote for him. I just maybe. Oh yeah. By the way, there's a whole plot <laughs> against the protest today. Uh, All right, expert. yeah, because we got 50 oh. minutes left today. What is your plan? Okay. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, phone call. We know to, that to Count warn... Nefaria is behind the shenanigans. His daughter has been involved. Petrock the Leaper was involved, but is now in custody. You've defeated the Crimson Dynamo. Nope, sorry, Titanium Man. You've bested Machine Smith, at least one Android body. The president is potentially under assault. The Friends of Humanity are at the protest who are likely going to attack today. And Count Nefaria is going to be doing something. His daughter does not have diplomatic immunity, at least in the name Whitney Frost. And time is ticking. Well, I would think we could just reach out to Val. <laughs> And let and let Val deal with Secret Service President notification stuff. Right. Yeah. Um. So that's that part. And do we know where the daughter is? No. N no, but they could maybe put out some sort of all points bulletin for her. Well, we also have this address. We could still go check the address out. Oh right. Yes, addresses. Addresses are good. Uh, and and the, let's contact the hotel. All right, go ahead, Jen. I'm sorry, what? So we, we've contacted uh, about the protest, protecting the president, making sure everybody knows all that we know about the protest and, and the, the plot on the protest and the president. Yeah. Val says That's she'll inform the president's body, the um, secret security and everything else. Uh, Great. We inform the UN about Whitney Frost because we know she's involved, they can have her on their radar because she does not have diplomatic immunity. But we also are going to go further investigate. Um, do we, do we want to mention who we think he's holding them? I think we should. I, I don't see any reason for us to hide it. Yeah, I no. don't know why we wouldn't. I no. mean, it's a celebrity. Well, uh, in that, I, I don't think there's any harm in generating public interest, quite frankly. Right, exactly. We, we yeah. suspect that, uh, allegedly, this, this very popular movie star has been kidnapped by a Italian diplomat who previously had issues with this same film star. So, yeah. In relation to that to the press? Oh, to the uh, press? Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't what I was thinking. No, I think you're talking about saying to the, the government and the police, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to tell the Avengers, as Simon Williams, a.k.a. Wonder Man, is an Avenger? Yes. And they've been looking I for so. Wonder Man for months now. Yes. Even though we don't like them, yes. Okay. Uh, Scott, what, will I... offer, Scott will offer to help them since we have previous experience fighting Count Nefaria successfully. Yeah, Storm so would say Beast that it's can provide you the nothing. number to the Avengers. Is Scott calling the Avengers? Yes. I better take care of this. Eddie, would you please roll me a D10, and that'll determine who is about to pick up the phone at the Avengers Mansion? <laughs> oh, yeah. And just to let you know, lower is better for you. Ooh, Eddie. Eddie, you're my buddy. You're amazing. <laughs> That's an eight. Oh, no. Oh, uh, it's never good. Good day, so mortal. Excited. This is Hercules. How may I be of assistance <laughs> to you? How does this thing work? Right, the Greeks now. Is is Captain America there? Nay, hey, Captain America is not here at the moment. But you have I, Hercules, the most important Avenger, the Avenger that <laughs> single-handedly bested the Lava Man and Mole Man by myself. Scott will pull the phone away from his ear for about a minute and then put it back when he's done talking. <laughs> when you put it back after a minute, he still talks another 20 seconds. But We have information on what happened to Wonder Man. Do you want it? Wonder Man. One moment. Damn it. Who is Wonder Man? <laughs> and you hear, uh, you, know, you know where Simon is? Who, who's, who's on the phone? Janet Devon. Oh. 
Um, the Wasp, for people that do not know, their Avengers how crystals. <laughs> Uh, 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 yes, we have strong yeah. leads on uh, who kidnapped him. Um, if you could l let us know where that is, that would be essential. That would be incredibly helpful, and we'd appreciate it. Uh, certainly. Um, we believe it is uh, Count Nefaria. Um, if you want to wait, we can try to assemble forces and come and come and help you. If it will definitely get Simon back. Certainly. Um, we will happy to help you, and hopefully you will uh, remember this in future when the X Men could use the help of the Avengers. Of course. Um, Cap's, Cap was saying something similar to that last week. Um, we're, we unfortunately have a Kang problem, so we'll potentially be there tomorrow at the earliest. I'm sorry. Hopefully Simon can hang on till then. We will continue on our ends, and then if things don't move any further by tomorrow, then we will await your assistance. Thank you, Cyclops. Hang on. So the Avengers are out until tomorrow. Useless cry babies. Pretty much, yeah. So, as usual, we're on our own. Well done, Scott. Funny how that works. <laughs> uh, but at least this time they owe us one. So next time, hopefully this will work better for our favor. Yeah, maybe they can deliver us a pizza. <laughs> or the upside is that the Avengers have more sway with the U.S. government than we do. So if we do have to break in, hopefully they can help us get out of any concerns that may come up. What's the plan, Scott? You're the leader. This is maybe the first time Logan has ever said that. Yeah, Scott's going <laughs> to kind of get and hear that, but but he's also going to absolutely memorize the day and time you said that to remember. To <laughs> Every time in the future. <laughs> on May 5th, at 2 He's going to get it engraved a on a head. necklace. <laughs> <laughs> um, With attribution at the end. Let's, yep. let's let's go to uh the address uh scope it out and if God, what's to... that new tattoo you have <laughs> yeah. it's over your entire arm and face it's so strange <laughs> you make your way over to northwest to where the, the hotel is it is an immaculate high class hotel like five star hotel there are limos out front that sort of come into it and they drop people off and go in there's some security placed out front um, it's a, roughly a 14 story hotel building. Beautiful. Like even from where you are stunned, do you want to go into uh, it, the building it, right now? You're just kind of it, like driving by as far as I know. Um, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're driving by it first. Uh, what is the area around it? Okay. Is it lots of tall buildings around it or is it like kind of just in an open space? In DC, there are a few other high class hotels, but it's primarily, uh, open space because most everything else is one or two story shops. Okay. But it is definitely a populated um, area if that's your question. Well, I mean, it's definitely popular, but also I was trying to see like if, if, if Rogue could easily fly around to get some more area reconnaissance, but that's going to be like tricky. She's going to probably be noticed. More than likely. Uh, so yeah, okay, then I guess yeah. we'll just walk in and uh, see maybe if uh, Storm can talk our, help talk our way in to some degree. When you get to the front, um, there you're actually sort of let in by a few of the guards there that recognize the group of you from saving the school in Missouri a day or two ago. Ah, oh, hey, those jacks came back. Hooray, good job, Rogue. They keep an <laughs> eye on Wolverine, though. As they say, did you? I saw that guy, he'd like kill that guy in an armored suit. Did you sort of hear that under murmur of current as the group of you walk in? And you hear some people say, Mutants are great. Except for those killers to muck them all the time. There's always one of them. Ah, uh, the status quo. But you're inside. And it is beautiful, well kept. Um, the elevator is, of course, uh, hard access, even in the 90s. Right. Um, uh, a storm or uh, rogue, maybe you can go. Steve, you could sort out maybe where a nefarious staying here. Yep. Uh, is there... Um... So we know he has the entire top floor, right? Correct. You already know that. I just make sure he's here first before we break in. Oh, just check out uh, the... So it's 90s, so do we have... Do they have the automatic keys yet? Or is this a place... Are there still, like, keys on the wall kind of situation? At this hotel, they'd have automatic keys. Uh, Storm, okay. you know, just from your background of being near royalty is that since it's like 7 or 8 in the morning, there is no way the count of Nefario's status is out of the door before 10 in the morning. 
that would be insulting and degrading for his status and existence. Okay, so we know he's in the room, but also he's royalty, so he's going to have people. Correct. He should have an entourage. Uh, yeah. How is uh, well, this guy is maybe... I, I'm looking around. It's like short Canadian guy who has to wear red I'm, glasses. I think I'm pretty long... <laughs> good at disguise. Hang on. I'm just looking You're probably the it. best one out of all of us. I think... Uh, where is it? There is. Oh no, I, I lied. I am not. I am not at all good at disguise. Scratch that. If you're looking at disguise, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. a joke in there for anyone that's watching animated series. So I don't know if you'll catch it, but you should all look at your disguise score. Yeah, it's two percent. Yeah, it's sad. Sad times. Mine's forty percent. Ha. Oh, Logan, you're back in. All right. Wow, forty, really? Yep. I can disguise so myself as a circus dwarf. Most most of the X-Men animated series, a disguise, be it Beast, be it Nightcrawler, is a hat and a trench coat. Indeed, indeed. Right. To be yeah. fair, Logan, to his credit, has worn an eye patch and passed as a completely different person, so... There you go. Yes, that's why it's 40%. Sure. Well, well, Logan, do you think you can break in and not murder anybody? I glower at you. I'm back to glowering now. Mm-hmm. Okay, Cyclops, window or door? Let's try the door, although, well... Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are we trying to accomplish in this moment with the Count? Trying to see if he has the gem in, in his rooms. Oh, well, in that case, I don't have to incapacitate anyone. I can break in, sneak around, do some snooping. Maybe I'll find the gem and I go out the way I came in. So I do we want to wait till he leaves? No, wait while he to it while he's asleep. He'll be fine. Listen, I've been around well, these posh people. Well, before. he he wouldn't have left, but he might not be asleep at this point, right? Yeah, in the middle yet? of the night. Lazy aristocrats like him are always sleeping in the morning. Okay. And trust me, his serving staff—they won't be up until nine. They'll take advantage of his laziness. Fair enough. Trust me, I've been around these people before. Well, look who's so fancy. <laughs> if if you get you a top good. hat. Did I ever tell you where I was during the Russian Revolution? You oh, tell us gosh. after the mission, Logan. So many times, on, Logan. On a high horse? <laughs> 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 I've got to go I've got to go to this place. Okay, so what are we looking at here? What kind of building are we looking at, Chris? It's a 14-story immaculate hotel. All mm -hmm. I really need from you, Logan, if you want to try to disguise your way up, is a disguise roll and a good narrative to make it. Okay. It. Uh, if it's nice and early in the morning, I'm well, I walk in like a member of staff, try and look confident. Uh, you know, long overcoat and hat, as usual. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, you just need to get changed. Kitchen, you know. Uh, kitchens tend to be pretty easy to find. Find some uh, waiters, black and white. Nice bow tie. I can do a bow tie. And uh, deliver a tray of food to the door. And yes, I will first of all try breaking in gently. But let's see how the disguise goes first of all. And don't forget once again, since I think some of you have a, an array of jacks. If you have two purchases, oh, you can anymore. spend a jack and you still <laughs> succeed. Yes, I don't anymore. So uh, <laughs> let's see. Ah! Uh, well, I do have willpower, and as we are approaching the end of our session, yeah, uh, I will now. I will roll again. I'm not against metagaming, and the need demands it. I still <laughs> fail. Uh, that is probably close enough to success that I think I look like a waiter or a bellboy, uh, and yep. uh, have a have a cloche in my hand as I'm approaching the hotel room door. You managed to get upstairs to the hotel room, but unfortunately you grab the wrong key and it doesn't work on the lock is what happens. And you scan it a couple key. times, nothing. And you no, know that I'll if just... you're out here much longer, you're going to definitely attract attention. What do you want to do? I look there? left, I look right, I pop one claw, jam it in the uh, in the door lock. An entry is yours. And the door swings open. A lock pick? I am a lock pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. That should be my quote. <laughs> 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 the the interior of this hotel room is larger than the main conference room in the X-Men mansion 
and it goes straight back and in this like lush chair you see the count is already awake having tea in this teeny weeny little teacup and like little pastries to the side and looks up and he goes ah um x-men it is early in the morning did you already come to die so soon I raise an eyebrow, noticing he's seen through my disguise, looking Somehow. down on myself. Somehow, <laughs> yes. I look down on myself and think, I thought this disguise was pretty good. And with eyebrows still raised, I say, room service? And at which point I will throw the lid off the cloche and toss the metal disc, uh, the, the serving platter, at him like a frisbee, like I'm odd job in Goldfinger. <laughs> nice. And at that point, I will just awesome. quick click on the walkie-talkie so my uh, my companions know we've been we've been busted, folks. <laughs> so all of that excellent, distracted for a moment. What would you like to do, Matthew? Is a your plan to try to attack the count by yourself? B escape or something else? What would you like to do? Um, I think uh, the time for flight is over, and let's be honest, I was never going to run away. Uh, right now, all <laughs> I'm trying to do is distract him because I I know he is actually a very powerful individual. I'm not going to be able to beat him, but if I can keep throwing things from around the hotel room at him, it might give my teammates enough time to get here and help out. All right? Can you make me an initiative roll? Okay. So yes, we're just starting with the. Uh, that's a twelve in total. We're starting with the uh, serving platter. Do you need us to roll two, Chris? Or uh, if you would, because you'll be in this in a couple minutes. That's what I was wondering. You got a twelve, Matthew. I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, you're you're what? first. You got an eleven. Four. Okay. So you well... throw the serving platter, and you see mm. as you throw it for this round, his eyes light up and. Laser beam shoot out of it. He obliterates the serving platter. That's the two of you's first round together. Everyone downstairs, you did hear Wolverine radio down to you. Jin, you're at 12, so you matched Matthew. What would Rogue like to do? It's 12 stories uh, up. That's, that's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> going outside and up, I think that's probably the fastest way to get there, right? Faster than the elevator. So, yeah, I'll go up and uh, I'll take the outside elevator, meaning me. <laughs> zip right, zip me, up. Make me an athletics roll as you sort of okay. fly out and up. And what am I rolling, all of Chris? It's possible for you in one round. Uh, for, for rogue and athletics roll as you fly out, up, and in. All that's possible for Fif you in one round at your speed. 50 under 70. All right. Uh, denote your jacks. You do make it this round. You make it in time for the fly up that you saw. When you reach the top, you see Wolverine throwing the serving platter. The Count not even standing up and obliterating it with heat vision is when you land into the room this round. Okay. Um, Ariel, what was your initiative? I'm, I'm sorry. I was, don't remember what I'm supposed to roll. Uh, D10 plus your initiative modifier. I see that Eddie has a oh, four. Oh, D10 so Cyclops... plus my initiative modifier. Yeah. That's what, okay. Cyclops is going to be last, I think. Uh, D10 plus four. Uh, plus four, so ten. Correct. All right. So, Storm, you saw a rogue go meet you up top. <clears throat> Gone. What would you like to do? Oh, I'm, then I'm definitely going to follow her. All right. Uh, make me an athletics check for you also. It's going to take you this round and next round to reach the top, though. You're calling up winds to fly yourself to go up, and you're slower than rogue. And also, yeah. I'm assuming not trying to hurt innocent people that may be buffeted by the winds. Yeah, that sounds like a thing she'd do. Um... Uh, athletics, and that, that's a percentile? Yes. Uh, 30 out of 40. All right, you earned one jack. So yeah. you'll be there at the end of next round. I'd be willing to okay. let you spend that one jack for next round is that you could have some sort of minor action at the end of that round for that one jack. Great, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Cyclops, your team has left the building. What are you doing? Silence. Got it. Cyclops waits to see what the GM does. Or you can unmute. Yeah, maybe, maybe he'll do something Sorry. useful. Like I, blast I, I, up through 12 stories with his concussive eye beams. No, I fully no, support that. I, I was, I was going to take the stairs because I don't want to kill people with <laughs> eye beams. Like a law-abiding citizen. Yes. You're, you're I'll taking take stairs. the stairs, Cyclops? Yes. Okay. It's 14 um, floors. It'll be a while. Okay. 
Cyclops makes a break for the stairs. Rogue and Wolverine, you're both at 12. You're at the top. You're both there. What would you like to do? The Count is still sitting, eyes glowing red because he just shot one round, but he looks like he's going to do something more active this round. Um, I will shout out, Where's the gem? Nothing like that. At which point, at the same time, throwing a serving table at him. If I can keep him blasting bits of furniture and paraphernalia, he might not notice Rogue about to do something, hopefully. Yeah, that was my hope, okay. too. In Wolverine, I would actually like a subterfuge roll as you're hurling bits of debris and everything at him to try to keep him distracted. Subterfuge, did you say? Correct. Something else that you should be good at. Um, reasonably. Let's see. Yes, I succeed. Uh, I have two jacks with that. It, for your jacks, if you'd like, they can provide rogue... For each jack you want to give Rogue in the situation, a plus ten to whatever her role may be as he's so distracted. Absolutely. So equivalent, you're giving, you're giving him a minus, but I'm giving him a bonus for Rogue instead. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not actually trying to hurt him. I don't think I'd be able to by lobbing furniture in his direction. But if it can help Rogue uh, disable him or even find the gem while all this is going on, then great. Okay. So, Rogue, what you see is Wolverine does that, hurls the table. Count stands up fast too fast so he's obviously faster than normal and obliterates everything wolverine throws in an instant you have a plus 20 percent to whatever skill you're about to do what would you like to do rogue um i'm torn between trying to search the the, the room or trying to you know i think it's cooler if i do this and it probably won't last very long or work but i'm going to give it a shot i am going to pull the ties off of the curtains and tie try and tie them up before you do that yeah you know based off of beast's description earlier the count would be stronger than you are then i will not do that uh i will <laughs> Take back Possibly twice that. as strong as you are from Beast's description of how he. Then the I will look for the is. gem. <laughs> okay. I will seek out that gem. Um, Make me an observation roll at plus twenty because of Wolverine, but then minus forty because I hit it. Plus twenty, minus forty, so minus twenty total, right? Unless you want to spend a jack and automatically succeed. Uh sure yes then i will do that all right what you see is from when the count stood his cape flipped to one side and you see that the gemstone that is potentially has wonder man in it is attached to the baron to the count himself and seems to be like fluctu fluctuating with power whenever he acts when he stood up quickly it flashed a brighter color when he shot heat beams it flashed a brighter color okay um could I use That's... my speed to try yeah, and in get in there? Okay. It was like your full round of searching around for the gym and then noticing it on him. Got it. Okay. Start of next round. Um, cool. Wolverine, Wolverine and Rogue, you will go, then Count will go, and Storm will land, just to give you a point of reference. Cyclops, you want to do something other than run up the stairs because it is going to be a long time. Uh, uh, I mean, I would like to, but uh, the public safety is not being uh, encouraged, and so otherwise, I might have a pretty high property damage strain. So I'm just gonna keep go upstairs. Um, I mean, I may call the event. Well, I can't call because I have no portable telephone. So yeah, no, I'm just downstairs. So as a fire alarm, you, hmm. I want that's true. Do fire alarm. Psych That's a good point. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? It's, yeah, we'll pull a fire alarm as I'm running upstairs. Okay. I will give that to you as a last round action because it's as a GM, it's boring for me to have you running upstairs for this entire combat. <laughs> it's fair, but I mean, I've had, I've had some cool moments. I'm good. Okay. I think you handle it. And it would Fire be amusing goes if, off. if we've settled it by the time Cyclops gets to us <gasps> huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> Cyclops pulls a fire alarm. Stuff is going to happen. All right. Wolverine and Rogue. Top of the round. You two are first. What are you doing? Which one are you going first? You both have 12. Whichever one of you wants to act can. Is your team. I think I've got to distract again so that Rogue can get close. I haven't seen this gem, but I've got to trust that she knows what she's doing. Yep. Um, 
so I think at the time for hurling furniture is over, I can take a punch or two. I've got to get up in the face of this uh, this asshole. Uh, so it's time to pop claws and charge. Love it. Make me an attack roll, Wolverine, as you charge the count. His cape billowing behind him, because even when he's in a robe and bunny slippers, he wears the cape. Oh, that tells me Storm is nearby. That that fills me with confidence. <laughs> Unexpected wind power. Also, I love the idea of like a hotel robe that has a cape built in. Just that that's, you get that suite, you get the, the cape robe. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to uh, Matthew, call out at this point. Yes, I'd like to call out at this point that on attacking Count Nefario, I have Epic. rolled one out of 90. Epic. Nice. Uh, Oh, can, so, can can he, can you, like, just, can you get most of the rope that's tying the thing to him? So uh, Maybe even unintentionally snick yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, that uh, uh -huh, gem yeah. off while I'm nice. just nice. crashing at him. Nice. Making him you into spaghetti. One, what would you like to do with that massively yes. unbelievable critical in this one moment? Please describe it to us. Wolverine is you're the best at what you do. <laughs> In animation, it would be in slow motion. Uh, I basically crouch for what would be long enough for him to blast me normally, but maybe he is curious about what I'm going to do. He underestimates me. After all, I'm just a furball. And then I bounce, pounce even, forwards, claws out. I let out a scream, and I without any real remorse or concern for his well-being. I'm sure he can take a hit. I will jam one claw directly into his body, and with the other I will rake and scratch, and with that, quite haphazardly, unintentionally, cut free the gem as I am shredding his, his beautiful, elegant hotel robe and clothing, and <laughs> generally making a mess of his torso. You didn't expect this from me, did you? Just a fellow eye. So, all of your extra bonus damage I would have given you has went for you to knock the gem off of him in that amazing description you gave. So would you just roll me your base awesome. damage of 3d4 plus 5? I would love to. So good. Uh, so it's 10 points of damage in total. Not not fantastic, but but we'll go with it. It, it pierces through his nigh-invulnerable flesh with your admantine claws bleeding and knocking the gym asunder. And you see that he appeared to be maybe in his late 40s, early 50s. He stops, somewhat bleeding. Rogue, what are you doing? Because you get to go before I go as a count, because he has an 11. I, am, I would love flying to. Flying through the air. <laughs> Gra grab that gem and pocket it, uh, tuck it away safely, and then uh, l let's try and help deal with him. Um, okay. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm I'm punching. I know he's not Thank because you. because be only because Wolverine's got him skewered. Do I feel like it might be a decent time to throw a punch in? Mm -hmm. It does, there's just like a summary of Rogue, though. It's like, I guess I'm punching. <laughs> I guess I'm punching. Because, <laughs> because I, I, I don't want a power absorption on him. I, I just... Yeah. Make me a brawl I, I lethal would... fist. Oh, oh, you could use the leaper's I was... ability. <laughs> yeah, right? Drop, drop kick, oh. the bastard. Oh. You could, well, in fact, if you what, wanted. What I was going to ask is, is, could this count as a tactical strike? Yes, it could. <clears throat> okay. That's what oh. I would like to be doing then, please. And I'll throw some jacks at it. I have five jacks to use. I say we do this. All right, make it happen. Nice. Um, so, oh, can I increase my own damage? A little bit for this, by... in this instance, how it's working. So you'd be rolling 10d6 plus three plus the damage from your jacks on the count. Because... Logan has already stabbed him and knocked the gym asunder, Eight, so that was his part of his action, but you're acting in the exact same 20. initiative order in conjunction with an unbelievable critical. Like, So, I mean, if even perfect. three jacks takes me to a d20, if I do four, does that take me to a d100? Uh, no, the jacks will add specifically to the damage, but not change the damage die modifier. Oh, it says it increases the teammate's da damage by one die size. 
Let me double check. Each jack adds another character increasing. Yes, you're right. And I love so that. So does that take me all the way to D100 with four, four jacks? You would go from D from D4 to D6 to D8, D8 10, D12. D10. Oh, 12 and D12. then to 20. 20 if I use all five. Correct. 68. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Let's, let's make it D20s. Um, Still ridiculous. Let's see how this works out. So you're, you're X-Men in a superhero thing. It's, it it's 10 D20 damage, right? So Oh my god. Yes. Let's go ahead and roll <laughs> 10, 10 D20 damage. Nice. Let's see how this goes. 101 oh points. One. As I come in, I've grabbed the gem, I've pocketed it, and just uh it's you that kind of punch him. again slow motion just that ripples in the air like a like a bullet cam uh as nice. it impacts and, and you just see the ripples go through him count all to the ground bested by wolverine and rogue as storm lands in the room this round <laughs> cyclops you're on the second floor <laughs> Gotta get to our team. Gotta get to our team. They need me. <sighs> I've got to say to Storm, hey, glad you made it. <laughs> Last person up here pays the hotel bill. <laughs> I, I smash it off the table. Storm just looks around the room and goes, huh. Okay. Room service on? Good job, team. <laughs> Rogue Storm Wolverine, uh, what are you doing? You, you've bested Count Nefaria. I think we're high fiving. His squad has left because of Cyclops <laughs> pulling the uh, fire alarm at the gym. Since we've got about 15 minutes left, we're going to. Uh, this is where we cut the commercial. We pop back. Okay. A group of you would all be back at the X Mansion with Val in the room with you. Ah, great. Towards the end of the episode, like that last five minutes of the episode. Are taking the gym saying, Great work, X Men. How did you so easily defeat Count Nefaria, who is best at the Avengers, best at the X Men before, bested so many other teams easily? Turns out, nothing hesitation about impaling a bastard helps. <laughs> but it was Some more uh, Anna Marie. Uh, just, just resigning to punching things sometimes. <laughs> I mean, we are a good team. I think what the team is trying yes, to say is is that our years of experience and applied strategy and taxi, ta tactics meant that we bettered an inferior foe, as we are off to do. Absolutely. Agreed. That too, yeah. I appreciate all the work. Or that the diplomatic done. immunities I'm... no match for doing the right thing. There you go. And we, we did have to let the Count go back to his home country because of his diplomatic community, but you managed to stop what happened today. And I want to thank you for the work that you've done, and we've managed to close down that facility that was one of Gyrick's last ones that we know of. Good. Excellent. Oh, it's a the win for the good guys. Of course. I, I think Charles would be proud of all of you. And that's where the episode cuts to black. Da -da 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 -da. And we get everyone's little bios <laughs> popping up on the screen. <laughs> And this is why this episode was never aired in the U.S. <laughs> because Rogue, Rogue broke the neck of an Italian count <laughs> while he was being disemboweled yeah. by Wolverine. Smash cut to the executives at Fox Kids reading the script going, you want to film what? <laughs> and, and and then cut cut to the modern team going... Have you read our scripts recently? Like, have you seen right. the show we're putting out? <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Episode writer. Yes, episode writer, Rob Life. Oh. <laughs> I hope you all had fun. I know that not everyone oh. necessarily won it. Might have been is in vibe with like just trying to do an animated X Men version, cartoon version of it, which I want to go for. So I appreciate all of you going with me on the trip. It's a blast. This was so yeah, that was fun. great. Yeah. Yes, I had a yeah, lot you, of fun. you all, you all are amazing. Uh, and uh, my right apologies, Chris, if I made it too violent for the for the animated young adult crowd. You were I'm perfect. sure you can fix I, I, that in the edit. I loved you surfing on a yeah. man to the ground. Yeah, that was, was great. That was epic. That was oh, and Ariel making the rain to break up like the crowd of people. Yeah. Loved it. 
Um, yes, that was a wonderful declaration. That should go to the UN over other things. Great. Yeah. Hi, Clops. Yeah. Running nice up job. the stairs for the entire <laughs> last two minutes so of the episode. I, I just, oh. I want the intercut of him just, just continuing to run up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I imagine it's like, you know, uh, 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 so the more three furniture cut up Scott leaning against the wall going, <gasps> <gasps> you know, rogue yeah. punches a guy in Scott. She's like, one more steps, one more flight. Just, <laughs> as, as the slow-mo of the punch, like it cuts three separate times to, to Scott <laughs> running up the stairs. And by the time you get up there, yes, by the time you get up there, we're eating the Count's breakfast in his sweat yep. while he's tied up. So, hey, glad you made it, Scott. <laughs> yep, and, exactly. And sound for yeah. you if you want one. Somehow Logan found a yeah. beer, somehow. <laughs> As this is more than just like us doing it here, and it is for the podcast and recording, something I forgot to do at the start that I would like to do now, and potentially Eddie can do some editing magic, but at the beginning and the end of the episode. But would all of you please say who you are, what you do, and where people could potentially like follow you, invest in your Patreons, buy your stuff or something. Eddie, is that something that you could add at the top of that and then we add at the end? Uh, it'll, it'll sound awkward if you do it both at the beginning and the end, but um, I can I can work something out, sure. Yeah. When have we ever cared about sounding awkward? Uh, yeah, well, some of us care. Rationalism. <laughs> um, please, uh, if each yeah, of you would do that, we'll, we'll start with um, Jen, because you have not been on the podcast before, and I want to try to convince you to come back onto a normal episode where it's much like this, but less coordinated. <laughs> well, this was so much fun. Um, hi, I am Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on the interwebs as at DreamWisp on most platforms and on uh, on Twitch. I stream as DreamWisp Jen. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm an author. I'm a producer. I'm a uh, I do all the things. Um, game designer. Um, yeah, that's that's me. I, I do the things. Um, Matthew, Terrible intro. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so they can find me. My name's Matthew Dawkins, and you can find me on most social media at Dawkins MP. You can find my Patreon on patreon.com slash Matthew Dawkins. I run games for people. Right now we run nine games for nine different groups a month, and we may be looking to open up a tenth. Highlight game right now is the Alien RPG, where the players are playing characters from the uh, Next Generation crew of Star Trek. So uh, huh. it's uh, it's fun seeing how a Star Trek away team comprised of Picard, Worf, Riker, and uh, Beverly Crusher deal with Xenomorphs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can uh, also uh, find my work I, I publish an awful lot of uh, RPGs via Onyx Path uh, such as The World Below they came from RPGs all listed on MatthewDawkins.com uh, so yeah, thank you very much Chris for hosting and thank you all of you for playing with me I've had a lot of fun Ariel, is there anything that you would like to pitch where people can try to come out and find you online? I know that I have a difficult time just getting in contact with you. Is there an easier way for these other anonymous strangers to come and track you down? No, I'm not on the socials. That's not what I do. Uh, um, my name is Ariel. I'm a, a writer and a publisher and an um, advocate for games access um, for everyone, but I'm in another world and not really on the internet and so yeah i don't know i guess if you're really really excited about it you can drop chris a line and he can find me but this was so much fun and chris keeps inviting me to stuff and i keep showing up because how can you not and it was such an honor to play with all of you thank you thank you um eddie where can people find you buy your swag or just generally find ways to be annoying and irritating to you how your co-host does uh, well, first of all, no one can possibly be as annoying as you, Chris. So, so you have Aww. a special place in my life. Uh, but for everybody else, um, the best place to find me is uh, my website, or my professional website, or find me online, all at Pug Steady. Uh, that's where you can find my stuff. Or you can find me on the Darker Hue Discord. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we are talking about what the new season of Doctor Who is coming up. So I'm, with, I'm getting really excited about it. I can't wait for it to drop. If you're looking for me, you can find me at Darku Discord. You can come to my website, darkustudios.com. Uh, if you want to buy my stuff, you can buy it at Darker Hue. You go Chaosium's website, Bar Hardman Bound Second Edition. 
You can support the Patreon where you get more random genreless episodes because I can convince Eddie to do it with me. Uh, but if you really want to chat and hang out, come to the Discord where I am now, I think, just posting random Fallout videos online because people are talking about how to play the new Fallout 4 updates. Exactly. And uh, so with that, uh, we will see you all next week when we have a regular episode of Genreless. And if you like this kind of actual play stuff, let us know. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. It seems like everybody here had a lot of fun, and I had a good time too. So thank you, Chris, for putting the game together. And we'll see you all next week.